Greetings and hearty salutations. What we're doing is a Boris blimp. <laughs> Basic idea here was to have a picture of Boris, who Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, and he's full of hot air, as you would expect, and he's hovering above some kids playing in a park or, or wherever they are, wherever they happen to be, I haven't painted that in. And one of the kids is saying, watch out, it's full of crap, pointing at the Boris blimp, implying that it's filled with excrement. <laughs> the nucleus of this idea was basically that he would be like diarrheaing down on them, but I spoke to a couple of people and they said, that's just way too silly, don't be, you know, that's, so I kind of, I, I, I kind of changed the idea, so yes. So in this speeded up video, you'll you'll see how I painted it. Applying some yellow to his bonds. I outlined this in acrylic paint. The actual, I was going to do it in black ink. I must admit, I was going to do it in black ink, but I couldn't be bothered to walk out to the art shed to find my black my ink set. So I decided, oh, oh, well, it's just as good a job. I'll, 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 I'll use the the acrylic black. So uh, yeah, it's fine for an outline. I'm not trying to create the Mona Lisa or anything. Although you know, a few hundred years time, maybe people will pay to sit pay. <laughs> pay people will go to see this <coughs> there's one of the the little boys pointing at the balloon I, I was on google like initially i thought i'll type i'll type um little boys playing football and then i thought oh google a uh, google might think that's a bit weird so I, I actually found pictures of grown-ups playing football and, and pointing and things like that, holding bags and and um, just made them slightly fatter and chunkier and more childlike. So I used those reference images for these. Um, the actual Boris Blimp uh, reference image, the, the bottom part was a Trump blimp, a, like a Trump um, inflatable that someone had made at a demonstration. And I just... I just um, put Boris's head on it, painted Boris's head on it, and um, changed it a bit so he had like man boobs and a belly, and so that's where the outline actually comes from. And I just sort of changed it. Yes, you might see in the background. I've kind of I've kind of sketched in it. You can you can just about see it. I've sketched it in like Battersea Power Station. It was kind of like a Pink Floyd reference there. The Pink Floyd Animals album having a big inflatable pig flying above the power station. But I just thought it was too crowded and it was too much and the actual idea doesn't really need that. So I've kind of left that out and I've just put a little bit of shadow beneath where the children are standing. as a kind of like to show that they're not just floating in midair. Yeah, that's, that's what I've done there. It's weird, isn't it? Like, uh, every Prime Minister... I don't think I've liked a Prime Minister that we've had. Uh, I'm not sure where they... All the brilliant minds that we've got in this country, and... Yet, whenever it, whenever it comes to a Prime Minister being elected, I'm like, hmm... You know... I don't, I, in my living memory, that I I haven't actually liked a prime minister, a British prime minister. Some are worse than others, you know. I think my my general political allegiance, if I was uh, not, if I was to choose a party, would probably probably be the Green Party or something, but. You know, I think uh, the the clock is ticking, and maybe 
if it wasn't for the corrupt system that we have, uh, which is first past the post rather than proportional representation, um, we would have more green MPs. But of course, there is one green member of parliament, and that's um, the MP for Brighton. Yeah, it's question of layering here. I mean, that's the beauty of acrylics. You just build the thing up. I think I've actually been quite flattering here towards Boris. I think he's, uh, he actually looks better than uh, any of the reference photos I used. <laughs> kind of did the balloons kind of to make the picture work I, I I guess it kind of aesthetically it kind of worked better having him holding balloons but really I mean he's a blimp he doesn't need the balloons at all he's a Boris blimp although being being filled with um, excrement he um, that would weigh him down, wouldn't it? So he might need the extra helium balloons to kind of give him a bit more to help him sort of take flight. It's, I guess it's kind of like a semi-comic way of working, isn't it? Because you, you've got the actual app black outline like ink like outline and then I'm feeling I'm doing like using a traditional painting technique to do the skin tone so you've got a kind of a combination of the two it's quite a fast way of working actually it's it's it it, it was um, a quick, quicker method than just um, doing a straight painting so uh, yes Loonville. It's, uh, it's got kind of like a privileged kind of face, hasn't he, Boris? He's got, a... <laughs> got that kind of. <laughs> I don't know what you call that. <laughs> I am privileged. It's got that kind of thing going on. was born to lead or was born to be prime minister Bro. I'm pretty much, it's pretty much there, uh, the speech bubble's the only thing that's left at this point. 
I basically copied the text from I've got a font and copy the style of it. I didn't use my own kind of comic typeface or anything because it would have taken too long. This was all about bashing out, bashing out a quick painting, bashing out a quick painting. Made a change. I haven't done anything like this kind of satirical art for I can't even remember what the last thing I did a long while ago maybe I'll do some more of these as they're quite easy to do knock a few of these out And there we go. Like and subscribe if you want to. And all that jazz. And all that techno. And all that hardcore. And all that breakcore. Toodle pip.